know which military bases are affected by nationwide army cuts. Some of the 40,000 troops will come from Fort Leavenworth in Kansas. But as 41 Action News anchor Cynthia Newsom explains, those on the base and the surrounding area are actually breathing a big sigh of relief today. No question about it, Leavenworth and Lansing City officials are breathing a sigh of relief. Only 60 soldiers at Fort Leavenworth will be gone over the next two years. Uh, city officials believe the small reduction in forces is no accident. In light of what was the possibility, uh, we feel like our community is a big winner. Mike Riley, president of Riley Real Estate in Leavenworth, knows that with 3,900 troops on base, the cuts could have been much worse. But town leaders took action. We've got some local lobbying groups that have really attempted to uh, share the impact of Fort Leavenworth. and. The good work that the men and women of Fort Leavenworth are doing up there to, to protect our country. They had a lot riding on the Army's decision. Leavenworth and Lansing depend on the business from Fort Leavenworth. Convincing the Army to essentially leave Fort Leavenworth intact is one victory. Now business leaders are working on a new plan. Uh, one of our subcommittees is uh, our Military Affairs Council. And it is the primary mission of the Military Affairs Council to see to that relationship, to see what we can offer. Fort Leavenworth and to to foster good communication and just a uh, spirit of, of uh, partnership. So instead of worrying about losing their businesses, some business owners now are considering expanding their businesses and maybe even forging new partnerships in Leavenworth. Cynthia Newsom, 41 Action News.